So it's uh, done. The executive program at Singularity University is over. We've been at it for six days, uh, 13 hours a day from uh, early in the morning till late at night in back-to-back uh, -back lectures and workshops. I feel rattled and excited. I feel exhausted and exhilarated at the potential of what's going on out there. Two takeaways I made today and for the last few days that really blew my mind and I thought I'd just share them quickly. One, the ability to clone dogs is alive and well. In Korea, they cloned a dog that had an extremely powerful uh, scent, um, smell scent. Um, so they cloned it and they've made about 50 clones of it. It's exactly the same technology that will be able to clone humans. But besides just cloning humans, we're able now to use that technology to create viruses that could do positive things inside our bodies, not just negatives. And viruses don't need to be seen as just negatives, but also just positive. So the idea of surgery will be ridiculous when you can infect yourself with medtech biology that will be able to give you a virus that will do something positive for you. I'm still trying to get my head around that. I just found it fascinating. And they showed us all the stats around it. That's happening right now. It's not coming, it's happening. The other thing we heard about was Ethereum, which is really going to change everything. And this Ethereum blockchain that's been created uh, for money exchange is not only going to be used for money. It's going to totally disrupt lawyers and accountants straight away in the next few years. But what it's going to do is going to give everybody the ability to be their own person. And when I say person, own entity, meaning there's no middleman with Ethereum. Cars will become their own entity. And when you are going to be in a car in the future and you're in a hurry to go somewhere, you can tell your car that you're in a hurry to get somewhere. I'm going to give you $20 from my Ethereum account into your Ethereum account. And that car is going to talk to every other car on the road to ask it to get out the way for $1 each. So this car will have money to spend and to pay other cars to get out the way so you can get somewhere sooner. What? I was like, how is that gonna be possible? But that's when AI gets included in everything. Another thing I, I, I really got my head around was that AI is becoming so cheap that it will be in everything, just like electricity became part of everything. The idea that a tractor was pulled by a horse, well, not the electric tractor, well, not a, mechanical tractor or um, a, a factory that was run on steam was now electrified. Electricity became so cheap that everything was linked to it. AI is going to be exactly the same. It's going to be in everything. Cars will be intelligent, uh, cups will be intelligent, every, everything will be intelligent. So after all of this and uh, everything that I've learned, the number one takeaway that I am making and the most important takeaway that I'm making is that we are not thinking big enough. We have to be thinking exponentially. We have to be thinking much bigger, bolder, and more courageously about what's coming. In the next 20 years, life as we know it will be so totally different. I'm, my mind's still boggled by the expansiveness of what's going on. I highly recommend everybody to go to Singularity University, apply, try and get into a course, try and expose yourself to this information. Sure, I'm uh, exhausted but exhilarated. Thank you all for sharing this journey with me and uh, be excited. It's exciting. It really is exciting. We move into a space called technological socialism. It's exciting. Technology is helping us uh, expand ourselves. I posted with um, the comment that um, uh, Ray Kurzweil made is that we will all have a digital neocortex in our brain soon that will elevate humanness to a totally different level. I mean, what, we're getting a brand new brain that's much more intelligent than us. And that's by 2029. 
That's 12 years away. 12 years? Wow. My mind is blown. It's been an absolute privilege to be here at Singularity University. I hope all of you get this opportunity. I hope all of you expose yourself to this. Sure, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm totally blown. Anyway, ciao from San Francisco. Tomorrow I fly to LA. And on Sunday morning, I have breakfast with Larry King from Larry King Live, which I'm also highly excited about. Ciao.